Okay, so I'm very, very, very excited for this for two reasons. One, because the class 170 and there's a new DMU in the game or diesel multiple unit. And two, because of the five, hang on, is it the fourth bridge? I think it's the fourth bridge, but very excited. I'm so happy this came, uh, this came out. So we are going to have a look at the, the route introduction here, like we did with the other DLC that I've reviewed. That one there, the London Underground. Thank you very much, Strange World 4, for showing that. Um, and soon there's going to be a Class 158 in Scott Rail livery for this DLC. Five Circle Route Welcome Introduction. Welcome to your first day as a trainee driver here on Scott Rail's Fife Circle Line. Edinburgh Waverley is the second busiest station in Scotland after Glasgow Central. The station serves as the northern terminus of the East Coast Main Line, taking passengers to and from London King's Cross. Uh, firstly, we're not a trainee driver. It just says that. There is a missing route map over there. Fix that while you're here. Oh, the... Okay, these work. Oh my god. No way, that is wicked. Okay, points for that. Happy days. Very good interior. I can't remember, I'll have to have a look. Compare it to the other... Um, the other Scott Rail DLC. So you've got the 170 there, which I'll have a look. And is it here? No, sadly not. There are there are um, AI layovers or overlays, however we want to say it, with the east uh, east coast main line where the IETs come up. Been in here before. Um, well, as you've seen, I got lost in Scotland. I got lost in lost in this station. That was funny. Ah, here it is. Head of driver and passenger experience, Angus Stewart would like to speak to you. Okay, hi Angus. Follow the markers. We're just going to ignore that bit. Before departure. So I'll cut that bit out. Can you actually still go in here? Yes, you can. Nice. And here it is. Number 17415. Enter the carriage. Let's first off have a look. Because I'm pretty sure there's a first class on here. There is, but there's no green thing around it, which is disappointing. Can we get over this way? So we can see it with all the doors closed. We can see there's that there. But I'm pretty sure there's like a green... Um, box around there. I could be wrong. And where's the bit for the disabled? Is that... There's bikes. I'm first class again. But there's no bits for disabled. Oh yeah, there. There'll be a, a box around that for disabled. Okay, so they haven't added that. Right, enter the carriage. Take a seat anywhere you like. Okay, um... Let's go over here. So he's waiting for me. I could have waited ages. British Rail decided to link the inner and outer loop services together by reopening the eastern end of the old Edinburgh and Northern Railway and Fermland branch to passenger traffic. Great sound. With two lines in operation, this created a loop in the county of Fife, joining an Inverkeeping station and Glenrothes. 
This created the name of the line, the Fife Circle. Located on the route is the Forth Bridge. First opened in 1890, the structure spans 2,467 metres and stands 137 metres tall above its foundation. That is cool. This is the tunnel that Flying Scotsman went through when we watched it up in, up in Edinburgh. 200 trains use the bridge every day. Whoa. Carrying 3 million passengers per year and it weighs a whopping 53,000 tonnes. Wow, that's heavy. Back in June 2022, Scottish Power Lines began work to electrify 65 miles of Fife Circle track between Haymarket and Dalmeny for use by electric multiple units. Further phases are planned to electrify the lines between Kinghorn, Thornton, Ladybank and Loch Gelly. Okay. This train is a BR Class 170 diesel multiple unit in ScotRail livery. Oh dear me. They were first introduced into service in 1999 shortly after the privatisation of British Rail. Yeah, because first it was known all, all railways were known as British route, Rail. You will drive this train across the Fife Circle. Take on the busy commuter services and stunning scenery in true ScotRail fashion. Take in all that the Fife Circle line has to offer. All I'm seeing is t a tunnel. <laughs> well, it wasn't the best um, introduction. I'm not going to lie, because all he went through is a tunnel. I am going to have my proper say on it. My proper opinion, like I did on the London Overground. First impression's not too bad, but the introduction needs to be a lot better. Hello Last 117 introduction. In this training module, you will be learning how to drive a Class 170 in Scott Rail livery. I like how they've just parked you right you next to your car. I like that. Or a car. Yeah, I like that feature. That's pretty cool. Here we go. First impressions. Pretty good. Right, I want the... I don't know if it's... Here or... Aha! Here we go. Normal. 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 normal and normal okay insert and switch the master key to the unlocked position set the train's headlights to day running the reverser controls the direction the train will drive in. the door power button is mainly used by conductors Press the door release buttons to open the passenger. Yeah, pretty good overall. It is disappointing they haven't added the blue, sorry, the green bit for first class. Let's just have a look, just to confirm. Uh, Scott Rail 150, no, 175, 170, sorry. Rail Press the door close button to close the passenger doors. Oh my god, this is not a very good part. Let's get moving. Set the throttle rate 
the P1 position. Slowly notch up the throttle brake lever to reach the speed indicated. Not a bad horn, not too bad. Reach 60 miles an hour, okay. We will also have a look at the Creations Club because there's quite a lot of liveries I can make for Scott Rail or this class of train. I wonder if there's a depot whistle. Normally there is. Uh, speed compressor up. Don't want that. Hazard lights, wash. Couple. That's not on, okay. We'll obviously need that on. On or off. There we go. Set it to idle. There we go. Yeah, not bad. I still haven't looked for the. We'll just save that one a sec. There's quite a lot of liveries we could make. Let's Let... prepare the train to slow down. Okay. Use the braking zone on the throttle brake lever to come to a stop at the indicated area. Don't worry if you miss the station. You are free to go around this loop as many times as you want. Okay. 1.4 kilometers, we got enough. Uh, first class. Yeah, I can't seem to see where it's got the green part out of it. Hmm, don't know. We'll have a look at that later. Hopefully there is a livery creation for this. I know there's an, a livery creation option for the Scott... Uh, no, not Scott Rail. The uh, London Underground train. What does it say there? 43 tons, 22. Okay, I need to start slowing down. Brakes are pretty good. What does it sound like on the outside? Can't really hear them. That's good, I guess. I 
now we can hear them. Stopped a bit quick there. There we go. Shuts down the cab. Okay, off. No, off. And we can just press it and we don't need to turn it this time. Now you are ready to drive the class 170 on the Fife Circle. Nice. I do apologise as well if you can hear someone cutting their grass. I do really apologise. And I've just got a trophy. I don't know if you've seen that, but there's a trophy called Bob's Your Uncle. Scenario called Fun Around the Fife. Okay. Where's the voice? No, uh, normally a voice reads all that out. But if you want to pause it and read it, I'm not going to read it. There we go. Climb up. No, yeah, climb aboard, okay. Oh, we're doing this one here. So, again, 412. I hope that's not the only number they've created for this train. I really hope not. Right, we'll do that once we do all this. Normal. There we go. Right, headlights, day running, them off. What's that? That's a horn. And you can see there's also a side ones. Soft high, soft high and soft low. But we can't get to them, and, uh, sadly. Interior. No, wiper speed. I thought that was interior lights. Wiper driver. We want that on. There we go. Destination is Kirk Caddy. Yep. Testing. Test OK. Speaker volume. Confirm. So we've got that going for us. Kirk Caddy. Here we go. Throttle to P1, we probably won't do P1 for sure. Go via Haymarket, okay. First impressions, this is the, the part of um, Edinburgh Glasgow DLC, which I've also got which you've probably already seen in a video because the Glasgow DLC as goes that way so I wonder if on well this is the map pulled together I wonder on the Glasgow Edinburgh DLC there's a layover of this 
I hope there is. And you would have thought there is as well. But I haven't seen any other train except from 17412. Pick up some speed here. So our first stop is at Murrayfield Stadium. I wonder also if there's going to be this layer, layover for or overlay, however you want to say it. Right, there's another one, 170. Is it going to be 412? Let's have a look. 401. There we go. I think it was just luck that we got the same one. So it can go up to 90 miles an hour here. Does it say? Normally, or some. Ah, there we go. Max speed 100 miles an hour. We've got a depot there for Scott Rail. Why is it telling me to stop? There's no sta uh, station. Eh? Okay. This is weird. Also, we'll get rid of this in a minute. You won't see this green, amber, red thing again. Really? Tourist photos? Well, I'm not being funny, that never happens. A train doesn't stop for tourists. Unless it's a rail tour, but then that stops at Pacific stations. This just on a line, with no station. So I'm sorry, that wouldn't happen. I don't know why they've added that in. Okay, let's get back on it. Here we go. Bit dirty. There we go, that's better. We can we don't have to look at two speedometers. There we got one great big one there. So we have to go via Edinburgh Gateway in two point eight miles. How long is this? one. Oh, we have to stop for tourist pictures twice. Sorry, three times. 
Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Okay. I'm just waiting to see another train go by, i.e. 385s. I think it's 385s. The Scott Rail 385s. Because that would happen in real life. So this is where we turn off. And break one. There we go. Full power. I wonder, does this connect to the one? What was it one five eight? We'll have a look in a minute. There is also a platform, I can't remember what platform it is, but there's a working elevator, which is really cool. Go by Damley. Damley? Is that how you say it? Dalmeni. I think. That should be in Idol, yes. We can go 100 here. Scenery. Close scenery is okay, but far scenery got Eh, it's all right, it's average. So we've got to go down to 80, then we have to go down to 50. Okay, we're down to 80, so we can put some... Actually, no, we can't. We're going downhill. We're going down a gradient. As soon as I said that, we go up. Is there any freight services, actually, in real life on this line? I don't actually know. Alright, let's start slowing down here.
stop at fourth bridge. Ah, here we go. Okay, yeah. So that's the road bridge there. And this is the fourth bridge. That is really, I'm really impressed with that. We'll have a proper look once we stop. But what what DLC was it? There was a DLC that actually had a poster of a A4 locomotive. It was a green locomotive on the fourth bridge. I'm pretty sure that's the... Oh, what DLC is that? Okay. I went a bit far. I apologise. You're probably going to ask me to go back. I was talking. Yeah, it's going to ask me to go back. Be right back. We'll wait until we're up there because then we can have the whole bridge, not the middle part. Forward. There is a delay on the acceleration. I don't know if that's what happens in real life. Wow, this is stunning. Yeah, we'll have to find that poster in that in the DLC. We'll do that at the very end. So now I'm going to look for all all posters now to see what DLC is coming next because th that was months ago. That should be on idle. Oh, come on. There we go. Right, here we go. I'll take a thumbnail here. There we go, got the thumbnail pick. Another 170, what number is it? 413 again. So is that all, all they've done? Because this one's 413. Is there light working? Yes. Okay. What is that? Um Three hundred meters or yard, sorry. Another little bridge. go be right back or oh, yard sorry another 
Another little bridge. There we go. Be right back. Okay, stop at Silver Sands Bay. Let me guess, another tourist photo? Yeah. Then we got Burns Island Harbour, another tourist photo. King Alexandra the Third Monument. Or Alexander, sorry, monument. Stop for photos. And then Fife Coast Path. Coastal Path. Unload passengers. Okay. I apologise if you can hear barking in the background. Yeah, we've got to go down to 40. I'm pretty sure LNER services do go out this way because I've seen LNER HSTs in videos go through this way, come off the five bridge or fourth bridge, sorry. Wow, this is not a very good edited video. I do apologize. So if we go that way, we've got that loop to go that way. Well, and we're going this way. On this way. <coughs> Excuse me. So we go up that way. So we can go up to 50 miles an hour here. And then 75 in a minute. You have 4.8 miles to go. What one's this one? Head, heads of guess 401. 406, okay. Right, let's do a little drive-by, shall we? Okay, so for some reason my microphone decided to basically uh, mute. I don't know why, uh, but there we are. So I'm now having to edit the voice over the video.
Okay, so this station here, um, there's definitely a glitch where you'll see now. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. AI walking on the track, that's definitely not supposed to happen. But definitely funny. Okay, so on this platform, it's quite cool, as when the doors open, which they are now, you can actually see and hear an elevator working, which is really cool. So just need to get that off, there we go. I'm so glad they've actually added this in. This is really cool. Um, I remember them saying they're going to try to get elevators working in more DLCs and I saw a picture of 
how they're going to do it and it's, they've done it so i've got to give credit when it's due and that is amazing so well done okay then so with that being done let's finish off this scenario and then i'm going to check the if the 150 8 connects to the 170 which it does and that poster is on about now there we go this is the poster this is on the peak forest dlc okay so we've all seen it in the intro anyway but let's just do it anyway get into the 158 cab set it up and then connect it to the 170. I must admit this was a little bit quick of a connection it could have derailed but there we are there we go initially I couldn't get it to work but now it's working for some reason the engines on the 158 just idles but I don't mind that it's still moving it's probably added power to the 170 anyway I don't know how they've worked it out but it does connect and it does move so i am very 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 happy so there we are so that is going to be the end of this video as you can hear it is idling but there we are that is going to be the end of this video so if you like what i'm doing smash the like button if you're new to the channel punch that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye for now